I might be in one of the coolest bathrooms here in Phnom Penh, guys. Now, if you look around, it's completely covered in uh, little crystals or mirrors. It's like we're in a disco ball. They have a disco. They even got a cool little uh, mirror here. Turn off the light. Turn it off like that. Ooh, that's cool, guys. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Maybe one of the coolest bathrooms. Actually, no, I'm going to take that back. The coolest bathroom here in Cambodia. Um, but as you look around, you're not really quite sure how to uh, leave. You have the, the clothes closet here with a bunch of nice shirts and ties, but how do we get? Um, but anyways, if you guys are curious how I got into this uh, mysterious bathroom, let's go back five minutes while I'm coming to the restaurant. Now that you're caught up, I'll show you the secret way out of the bathroom. If I can, if I can unlock myself. And just like that, guys. So if you guys are the first time, first timers here, I want to see if So there must be, this must be the most famous bathroom in Phnom Penh. Is it the, uh, you guys more known for your burgers or for the bathroom? That's a good question <laughs> uh, at this point. Uh, but there you go guys, I've uh, escaped from the, uh, the, the Narnia closet and I'm back here enjoying a uh, cold Lao beer. But um, I would say, uh, yeah, it's a very cool decorated uh, restaurant here. You got the kitchen which is kind of looks like the RV that uh, Walter White was using in Breaking Bad. And then there they're making the uh, the burger right now. The best smash burger. What time is your busiest hour you guys think? Normally you have the double rush. You have the hungry people rush and the yeah. people rush. Okay I see. <laughs> yeah. Five to seven. I tried to avoid both rushes and come right when you guys opened up, That's specifically smart. so there wasn't anybody here. Yeah, so it's six to eight is the hungry people. Yeah, okay. And ten to eleven is your drunk people. There you go, yeah. All the other bars shut, so always the, the only times I've been here was when I was really drunk, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, guys. Uh, what better than a delicious smash burger when you're drunk? Let's see if we have this great state of Maine up here, because they have all the, uh, a bunch of the, the license plates. Oh, there we go, Maine. Right to Maine, yeah. And that's the great state of Maine, guys. It's a very cool uh, couch. And uh, I'm gonna show you outside real quick. Go through these, uh, these guards. And here you guys have stumbled upon one of the coolest little alleyways here in uh, Phnom Penh, which has a bunch of great restaurants like the Sakana Lab. But then here, the garage sale. So when I drove, you saw me, I drove over there, took a left, turned around, realized I messed up, and drove back. Um, but yeah, this is the place, guys. They've done a great job. Uh, done a great job uh, uh, decorating it. I think someone's screaming at me, but I don't know where they are. Kind of creepy. But yeah, guys, okay. So enough said, let's go and try 
uh, uh, one of a kind burger. So you guys might be wondering, uh, Cambo, why am I not on the street eating bugs or eating some uh, really cheap porch? But that's because I've kind of uh, shown you guys three or four days now of nothing but the street food and the odd food, like the, the crocodile and the frogs and the, uh, what else was there? Yeah. So I felt like I would treat myself and so that's why I'm here guys. This is why this is a bit of a different video for me. Um, uh, but yeah, I figured I kind of deserved it and let me know what you think guys and now this will also help you guys if you guys are ever here in Phnom Penh and you want a great burger and a cold beer with a very cool bathroom. Sure, yeah, I really like that, yeah. That's so much more flavor. Of course, yeah. But also, somehow the best beer in this part yeah. of the world. Like, it's a state-owned brewery. This place is not allowed to do this. That's why it's so delicious, guys. Uh, yeah. That's free. That's free. Uh, look right there. Yeah, I've come to realize that the uh, the cheap Asian beers are way better than the cheap American beers. Yeah, they're all they're all like beers at the end of the day. Yeah, they are. But you guys put more corn in there. Corn in the That's smash. right. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like uh, rice in the mash. That's rice, yeah. Back home, three ingredients. Uh, yeah. There we go. Awesome. Smash extra bacon. Beautiful. There we go, guys. We got our beautifully done smash burger. Double, double meat, double patties, right? Double patties. Triple patty. Triple patty. Some bacon, some cheese. Can't go wrong with that, guys. There we go. Let's give it a try. Get some of these ready. Oh yeah, that's a big boy. Mm. Yeah, that's a good burger. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My, you guys all know all about the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> I was driving back from uh, Sea of Reef the other day, and there's, there's a whole little market, it's a spider market. Yeah. You don't have any like, roundabouts. Yeah. You normally have all these big statues or something. This one's got a great big fuck off tarantula statue. Like, that is intimidating. <laughs> oh, they have a statue of tarantula. Big fuck off tarantula. Oh shit, what town was that? I can't remember the name of it. Damn, I don't know about that one. So it's, it's, I'd say it's about a third of the way from here to see a Okay, interesting. Actually, I'll ask you, you'll know. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the spider market on the road from Phnom Penh to see a reef? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 It's on the main road. It's on the main road. It's like pigs. Tarantula statues, so they sell so many spiders. There's one place. It's um, I was gonna go. Uh, I was because I my people were telling me it was like up north. It's like towards um, Zerium. No, it's not. No, it's not Zerium. Um, no, so I need a big mound, tong big mound, chipini, pong, tong pong, uh, pong spur or no, pong cut. Anyways, yeah. There was one place that was like pretty well known for like bugs and stuff and what I was gonna do was I was gonna go over there and find the people who were catching them and I was gonna go with them and like catch the spiders with them. Yeah, see this is the one thing. <laughs> How do you catch that many spiders? Do you farm them or do you just have a guy nah, with a bucket? Yeah, like, a guy with a bucket, that's exactly it. I guess it, the yeah. rice paddies to get all sorts of stuff. Then. Yeah, but I went on the wrong season so they didn't have them right then but with the crickets and stuff they have like a light and I catch those with the, with the, the crickets, yeah. yeah. 
I can imagine most other things being easy to catch. It's just the spiders. Yeah. Like, you can't really attract a spider. It's just doing its own thing. I've seen it. Like they, they figure out like where the hole is and then they start digging and they find it. Yeah. It's crazy. What's this, guys? A rare scene for Cambo. And that's because I cleaned the plate. And it wasn't even hard. If I had more time, I'd probably get another one. But yeah, amazing smash burgers here at garage sale, guys. You can see right here, I never finished my plate. I finished it clean. I could probably lick it. That's how good it was. I'm gonna finish my beer allow. And that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thanks for stopping in. As always, um, I'm staying true with my promise. One video a day. Here's the, uh, the next one, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah. So I noticed Cam, he has all these uh, amazing uh, liquors and alcohols on the shelf, but over in the, the corner, he's kind of been sneaky and has a bottle of Fireball. Is that your personal <laughs> stash? <laughs> I kind of touch the stuff. Okay. <laughs> Cheap whiskey and cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, what is that Fireball doing in the corner right there? Like, that's the uh, secret stash. It's the same as Jägermeister's, but I don't love it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, oh yeah, the Jägermeister's is nice actually. I don't mind the Jägermeister, but Fireball, I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna take one little shot of, uh, I'll get one f a little small shot of Fireball and I'll finish the video off that way. It's kind of like a nice, uh, not I wouldn't say palate cleanser, but it's gonna break down all that grease um, from that amazing burger I just had. So, one Fireball shot. My friend uh, Bald and Bankrupt, he will be very happy with this. I'm going with the, the Fireball. Here we go, cheers guys. Yeah. Yeah, cinnamon candy. Woo! But you know what? I think I'm on something. A nice greasy cheeseburger and a little shot of fireball after that. I can see that one. I'll get the check, bro. That's it. with me three seconds. Okay, yeah. Then, uh, that's it, guys. Till next one. Peace out. Bye bye.